Hello, good morning and welcome back to another week with me. I have some things I wanted to update with you. Hopefully there's not too much snorting going on in the background. Who's snorting? Four dogs still here and on Thursday we get two more. So it will be six total dogs in the house. It's gonna be madness. Remember last week, if you watched the video, I was talking about the fuchsia Barbie dress. It was right when the Barbie movie came out and I was trying to just do some fun, like kind of content stuff for looking like um, I was heading to a Barbie movie. I wanted to doll myself up. I was going for like an 80s Barbie look and it was so fun. And I realized that I bought that dress just for that. And now it's up for sale. I might just go to the thrift store and buy a dress that makes me feel absolutely fabulous because that dress made me feel so good and I, I want to go put it back on. I want to just walk around in it for no reason. Sometimes you just need to go buy a dress that makes you feel like a million bucks. So we're going for, I'm, I'm going on the reunion of housewives type outfit. I want to wear my housewives reunion outfit. That's what that, this will be. I think, I don't know if that's what I'm calling it, but it's going to be where I like wear my best outfit and my hair and my makeup is like really cool and it matches it. And then we're just going to take photos in it and that's it. So we're going thrifting to specifically find a dress that makes me feel fabulous. So that's what we're doing this week thrift wise. Also, I decided that the best way for me to motivate to add stuff to my web shop is if I just week by week chip away at what I need to upload to the shop by sharing it with you. I'm gonna show you a few things that are gonna be added to the web shop this web shop this week. I thought that would be a fun thing to start incorporating into my weekly vlog. So the the weekly vlogs will now have a thrift corner or or like what's in the thrift shop corner. I'll have to give it a name of some sort, but it'll be uh, what's in the thrift shop segment that will be added every week until I have gone through my entire inventory, which I don't think is really ever gonna happen because I go thrifting every week. So there's just constant stuff being brought in and updated, yada yada, but alas. I came up here to talk about a few empties. I wanna go through this quickly because I don't want this to be a long intro. Um, but yeah, we have some makeup stuff happening at the end of the week. I just wanted to finish saying, and um, I'm going up to Seattle for a shoot and a wedding. So I have two makeup uh, gigs going on over the weekend. First of all, you've probably already noticed that my extensions are out. <laughs> that was not intentional. <laughs> my hair was feeling really bouncy and really healthy. I kept touching it like where, because the extension started about right here and I taped them in myself just because you know, me and sitting in a salon chair doesn't work with agoraphobics. Had it to about right here. And look at my root growth too. I need to do something about that. I haven't bleached my hair in a really long time. And I think that's why it is in such good condition is because I have actually nurtured it kind of back to a good place after the last time I bleached my roots. It was feeling so healthy that I just found myself on the couch just touching my hair. Like, wow, so silky. And I was frustrated that the hair extensions didn't feel like that. And I know that that because it's not alive hair, like the, you know, it's not the attached to the scalp. <laughs> it's getting weird. Why am I talking about that? And anyway, regardless, I was really frustrated that the extension hair didn't feel that good. And so I used a mask on it. And then I used my hair treatment, which is my favorite, which is it's a 10. So this is the miracle leave in treatment. I've gone through so many bottles of this. This is like probably my, probably like my fifth bottle. And I now know that I just can't live without it because it makes my hair feel so good. And the other thing that I've been using is this. It's called the Rose Quartz Muse Mask. But I use this on the extensions to try to revive them. Put my extensions, you know, up into a towel. I had sprayed it to 10 all over my hair. I took the towel off and my tape and extensions were falling out. It was so silky hydrating that the extension tape could not hold. <laughs> and my hair was actually coming off. So I took that as a sign. I'm so glad I put the extensions in last week when I was really feeling down. They cheered me up, they made me feel good. But my hair is so dang healthy all of a sudden because I've been using these masks and I've been taking some new supplements and I don't know if that's what it is, but something is working. And then I've been using this too. This is the, what is it called? Ace Act and Acre Cold Press Stem Cell Scalp Serum. This is completely empty and it just is like a little, dropper guy and you just do like strips through 
your scalp and then massage it in and let it just sit there and do its thing. And it just is supposed to really help with uh, strengthening the cuticles at the scalp. And it, this, you can get an Ipsy on the add-ons, so it's really affordable. I just added one to cart and it's a different brand. I'm gonna try it and see if I like it. Cause I don't know if it's necessarily this brand in general or just this habit to start doing. I did just place an order for three new things to be mailed to me and these were just little trials. This one I think I got in an Ipsy. I gotta thank Ipsy for introducing me to things that I didn't know I needed in my life. This I still have like, I have a few drops. It smells like honey. It is by Pharmacy. It is the Honey Grail and it is an ultra hydrating face oil. It's one of the few face oils I've used that doesn't make my pores feel clogged. Sometimes face oils are just too much for me and if I use them too often, they really mess my face up, but I can use this almost daily and it doesn't clog my pores. I love the feel of it. It's so good. Words cannot describe how good this feels to put it in your hand and just do this and smell the honey working up in your hands, warm honey. It's, it's so great for nighttime. A fast absorb, absorbing, luxuriously lightweight oil that delivers intense moisturizer, helps smooth the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles, rich in antioxidant, miracle worker made with their pri proprietary honey, sea buckthorn, five flower oil blends, and it's clean, so it's one of the clean beauty brands on in Sephora, so that's where you can buy it. But I actually went on Sephora's website to buy it and get some things. Lo and behold, I went over to the website just to see if you buy direct from them, if it's any cheaper, and they had all these deals. They had like a sign up, 15% off, and then they have a bundle you can do, and when you bundle, you save. So I got it for like $25 less then if I were to buy it on Sephora, I definitely recommend doing that before you shop Sephora and Ulta. Check the website of the actual brand itself and see because they'll send you samples. They'll usually have a like, you know, loyalty program and you tend to get some deals there. Um, little tip there for buying expensive ass skincare because it is so expensive. So for these two in a bundle is $80. For skincare, that's not bad. I feel like a moisturizer sometimes can be over a hundred. So that's not a bad price. I think it's affordable-ish. I think it's like mid-range, affordable-ish skincare. If you're into clean, organic type beauty, then this would be your thing. And I love it because of the honey thing. And if you saw my YouTube banner is now honey and bees. I don't know why I love that. <laughs> I just do. And I just changed it. I change my banner all the time. I don't know if anybody's noticed that. Hopefully you have it, but I change it like on a weekly basis. <laughs> I guess I'll do it and I th then I hate it. Or the season changes, I change it with the season. I'll probably change it again in autumn and change it again during Christmas. Oh my goodness. And um, I actually already had this. This is the Honey Halo Moisturizer by Pharmacy as well. And I had this as a sample. It came from Sephora. So it came in like a birthday kit, I think it was what it was. And so I have this, this, and then something else that came. It made me fall in love with this, but I only was using it on vacation. So it became like my vacation moisturizer. You know, I got all excited because, ooh, I get to use my Halo when I'm on vacation then i fully decided that this needs to just be my permanent moisturizer because that with this at night if you have dry skin let me tell you <laughs> it makes you just want to lick yourself okay that was inappropriate since i was getting that and i was saving i was like well i might as well buy one more thing and this is empty this is the Pharmacy Green Clean Melt Away Cleansing Balm. So this is just like the LMS Cleansing Balm. This has, the smell of it's like lime. Uh, I feel like when I, when I smell it, I get like a lime, a lime, fra lime fragrance, but it's one of those types of balms that like when you warm it up on your hand, it helps break down harsh foundations, heavy makeup, if you're really like, you know, built up on there. It's great for that. So this is my favorite. Oh God, here we go. No, 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 no. This is gonna be the longest vlog of my life. So anyway, so that is my skincare. And then I just wanna go in and thrift. I wanna find my magnificent dress. I also am in, hopefully you guys, I, I got you right next to the air there. Hopefully I find something good. I really struggle to find something at that thrift store. And that's the one where I usually find the most dress options. Everything I grabbed, felt too small and I'm just worried about buying something that's not going to fit me properly. So I think that's the hardest trick is like 
I can't try it on because they don't open up the dressing rooms here. So I'm at another thrift store. We're gonna try this one, see if there's any luck. And if not, we're gonna bag it. <laughs> Okay, well, you guys, I just cannot find the dress that I'm looking for. I just, everything was just too small, too ugly. <laughs> so random that this Goodwill had all the Halloween stuff out, so I thought, this is it. Like, they had tons of fancy prom-looking dresses. Anyway, I just cannot believe that I found nothing, but, well, in the way of fancy dresses, but um, I did find a dress that I really like. It's just a practical dress that I will wear. Honestly, I could wear now on a cool day, but we'll wear it for sure in like a month and a half, two months. Like early autumn dress. It's gonna look so good with so many things. Sneak peek. Oh, I'm back and it's hot up here. So I'm gonna make it quick. This is what I ended up getting. And I've always wanted one. It is a Diane Von Furstenberg wrap dress. I've always wanted one of the wrap dresses that she makes. Now this is a Target one, I believe. It looks like it was like in collaboration with Target. So you can tell it's a DVF print. It's got the wrap dress style, but it's like Target friendly. <laughs> so it's not super expensive materials. Let's just out of curiosity, see how much a DVF dress would be if it was the real deal. Well, I did not realize they were 600 to $700. I mean, they're really beautiful. I'm sure the fabric and the material is far different than the one that I just got. Electrical stuff going on, if you can hear knocking. He's doing the bathrooms. This one is gorgeous. I'm just gonna screenshot the ones that I like. I always, always wondered, because I used to watch her show and they always really talked about the iconic wrap dress. And made it seem as if those types of dresses look good on anybody. So I was really, I just always wondered, but I've never thought to invest. All right, so here's the dress. And so what happens is, is you string it through the inside and then bring it around while this tie goes all the way around and it meets and then it just is completely wrapped around. It is very flattering. I like it, I do. <laughs> it's a wild print. And then this, even, the cut in the front is really flattering. Look at that. All of my boots are in storage, but I really, really want to try them on. Look at these two. <laughs> he got himself so worked up into a tizzy when I got home because he was so excited to see me. <laughs> He's been looking for my attention ever since. Look at this face. And this face, look at this face. <gasps> look at this face, he's a little weasel. Hope I can get these back off. Oh yeah, look at those boots with this. Hey, 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 hey. Sorry, I had to referee that. <laughs> they're playing a little bit too mean. And then they're just going back for more. Shih tzus! Come on. <laughs> <laughs> it's too hot for this. I totally forgot. Yet another thing I got for autumn, winter, and the spring, so I never got to wear it. Is that cute? Never worn it. I got it from Saks Fifth Avenue in the sale, and I got it in spring. Mmm, that is a cute outfit. I almost feel like some camel colored boots would look really cute as well. I love the black. I mean, this is black doesn't look like it because of the pattern but the uh, color of the checker is black black blue and green you guys ready for your friends to come join the party two friends are coming are you excited to meet them are you gonna be nice to them of course you will they might not be very nice to you but you're gonna love them Mando's just going to roll over on his back and you're just going to be worried about the humans. He says, I don't really care about other dogs. And I sneeze so that you know that I am not confrontational because I'm a very good boy. <laughs> I sneeze so that you know I am unconfrontational. For anybody who likes to have the TV on in the background, kind of like just sound and I do it to for a few reasons, I drown out the noise from outside so the dogs don't bark at everything. <laughs> it really helps drown that out. And it's really soothing. So it has a, a couple of functions. The music is called like Celtic fantasy flute music. 
and it has now become my favorite because this is very reminiscent of witchy cabin which as you guys know is one of my anxiety tools i use to calm down so this is really good for me and there we have six doggos and this isn't even the most i've ever had it's just this is the most i've ever had that are young so our dogs are five otis the yorkie here is four and lucia is a year old so and these two are five so they're the same age as my dogs she just doesn't understand boundaries with older dogs and they hate that <laughs> so she needs to learn so she's just kind of like not like a wind-up toy she's like never really turns off Okay, well this is the portion of the video where I tell you what's going into the store this week. This dress is actually from H&M and it is the cutest thing. I just feel like I washed it and it got too short. Yes, there are some dresses that are simply too short for even me. You know, I could add a ruffle. <laughs> I could add a ruffle because I love the dress. Love, love. And this little ruched sleeve situation love it i think it's a large but i would say this would be a large medium it's purple and lavender with some like little roses like raspberry roses that dress is the first one that will be photographed and put in the store i'm gonna take some pictures next up in the thrift shop you guys might remember this from just a few videos ago i went thrifting for something kind of retro to wear with my wool sweaters um, this is by shabbyapple.com. It's like supposed to be like handmade or something, but it is a really adorable army green pencil dress, very fitted, beautiful dress. It really is and it fits me, but it's really snug and I feel like I will never wear it because it's just a little tad bit too tight for me. So I think if somebody else could pull this off, somebody would appreciate it so much more than me and it's just too amazing of a dress to just sit in my closet unworn so i think it deserves a home with somebody who will love it as much as it deserves to be loved the next thing that is in the thrift listings this week is this lovely boho sheer cover it has ties in the front with these little silver thingies very like kimono esque i just do not see myself wearing it i've put it on so many times and taken it right back off it, i feel like it, somebody needs to have it with like jeans and a crop and some birkenstocks you know it's a little it's a little bit more boho than i dress is maybe what it is it is a um one size fits all situation it's it's just one size i i had a vision with it i really did so this needs a new home and here's the last thing that will be listed in the shop this week. This is the mustard yellow, really fun pom-pom dress. Again, the sleeves are just absolutely amazing. They're elasticated, elasticated bandeau style. I love this style of dress, I do. And it has a skirt lining to it. No pockets, that would have made it really special. Uh, it is a size medium, it's by a brand called listicle the back is a tie across the back to help hold the shoulders on and it's a really beautiful dress it really is it's purely just one of the dresses that i feel like every time i put it on i take it right back off and i'm not sure what it is i don't know if i like the color with my hair and that might be it maybe if you have like brown red pretty much any other color but blonde <laughs> And it's not that I don't wear yellow. I do wear yellow, but this particular kind of color, I feel like it just washes me out with my blonde hair. I really see it with somebody with brown hair and some colorful leggings, some ballet flats. I mean, there's a lot of ways you can style this and make it cute. So somebody come grab her, cause she's up for grabs. And it is a medium, but I wear it. So I would say it can be between medium large. Definitely can fit it. So it'll be in the shop for sale. One thing, I actually am not gonna be listing in Poshmark because I just listed a couple of the things from last week and I've gotten so much spam. So I had to turn off the notifications cause it was, it was insane. I didn't know Poshmark had been taken over by bots that bad. I had like six scammer messages on that. 
And I realized when I edited last week's video that I said, if it's damaged or whatever, I'm sorry, I can't take returns. I'm not gonna send you something if it's got a broken zipper or a broken button and not tell you. So it will say on it if there's something wrong with it. Say it's like a vintage dress and it has a missing button, but it's still amazing. I'll say that. So you're not gonna like get something and it be damaged. The person who purchased the dress that I'm gonna be shipping out from my shop is in the wash right now. And then I'm gonna bag it up, wrap it in tissue so it arrives there safely and make sure that they're clean and <laughs> in good condition before you get it. So just don't think that I'm gonna send you like damaged goods. Something came and I wanted to show it to you. Freaking Valentino's makeup lipsticks were 50% off over the weekend. And this is my favorite lipstick and this is what I recommend to people when they always compliment my lipstick. And I only have the sample, it's this big. So I'm so excited to have the big girl version and I got it for 20 freaking bucks. Yay, let's try it on. Oh, and it just glides on like butter. Just a good old fashioned, like it's my lips, lip color. Falling for nude. That's the name of the lipstick, Falling for Nude. And the cool thing about their lipstick, you can take the bullet out when they're done and throw them away or recycle or whatever, and then just buy the lipstick to put back in so that you can use the packaging again and it doesn't waste as much. It's such a beautiful lipstick. Isn't that gorgeous? <laughs> Good morning. <laughs> I've been up since, actually I don't really think that I slept, I just kind of pseudo slept because I just was thinking about everything I needed to do this weekend. So yeah, I woke up at like five and made sure all the dogs ate and went potty so that they had plenty of time to stretch their legs before I had to um, leave them for a few hours. Lyle's getting off of work early so that he can go take care of the frog and the chihuahua and my dogs just dropped off the Yorkie and the Havanese at their daycare. And now I am heading to the makeup gig. <laughs> and then I have to drop off a package. Just in case you're wondering, I do have like five jobs that I do, like five gigs. And the reason why is because if I didn't, I would have to stop doing all of it and go work at like a makeup counter at the mall. And I'm trying so hard to avoid that. It would be easier and less of a hustle, but I prefer to be self-employed, so this is why I do this. fun oh my gosh the main character the like the gal with all the lines was an absolute delight like she was so much fun and had so much character and was just a thrill she was just amazing I loved her so much <laughs> that was really fun they were like go ahead and take some video or whatever you need to get so I was like okay because <laughs> if you give me the opportunity to get some video for you guys I'm gonna take it. It's just all fresh for me still because I'm still in the parking lot behind the studio. That place is so cool. The fact that it's just wall to wall photography, 
backdrop paper and lighting and video and camera it's just the insanity of it all and how beautiful was that bathroom I, I was I was like this bathroom is so unexpected in this place <laughs> you just wouldn't expect it where if so if you know the Soto area of Seattle Soto is kind of a lot of like industrial stuff a lot of industrial buildings and businesses and so you're there are just these kind of random bit like shops that look run down from the front and then you go in and it's this amazing studio it's just quintessential Seattle for you you'll get that a lot I've actually worked in another studio similar to that where I showed up and I was like this seems really sketchy like right now I'm in an alleyway <laughs> with like a dumpster I really just had like her hair and makeup and then after that it went really fast because the rest of the uh, cast all just needed like quick like you know pimple check clean their face give them a quick little powdering on their face and like keep it pretty simple and minimal and then like touch up their hair. So it just went super fast with the rest of the um, actors or cast members and I had such a good time. Just it's, I love just like knowing what people are all about. Like what do you do? What's your job? What's your thing? <laughs> you know, it's interesting. But anyway, I'm gonna go drop off this package for uh, one of you that has shopped my video last week and I'm so glad. I hope that you guys enjoy that. I hope you're like, cool, I can shop every week now. <laughs> because I would love that. So I'll just show you, you know, four things for sale every week and you know, you can go check the shop to see if it's available. It'll say out of stock if somebody snagged it up before you got it. And that's great. And I, it's just a great way for me to get stuff out of my closet and a lot of times I'll go thrifting and buy something and try it on and I'll like it but then I'll be like I don't know if I'm gonna wear it and then maybe one of you loved it you know what I love about this lipstick color on me it's the color of my lips but just better <sighs> let me just catch you guys up so yesterday was a whirlwind I got up at four so that I could shower and get ready to go to Seattle so I can do the wedding it's still I still was like I never feel like I have enough time because I just am such a perfectionist when it comes to the makeup I want it to look so I want it to look so good I want them to love it and we got down to the wire still every time <laughs> So, um, yeah, I wish I had a little bit more time with the last bridesmaid, but she loved it. So it's fine. It's just me. It's me just wishing I had, I didn't get to like stare at it and inspect it as long as I like to. So anyway, but that was really fun. The bride looked beautiful. Such a fun crowd. Wham, bam, done, you know, and then I was out of there. <clears throat> and then I came home and it was straight to partly tidying up the house. I got new bedding for the, I had like I had to go to Trader Joe's and get uh, provisions for family coming today. They're just coming for a little short visit, but I wanted to have some food and clean the house. So anyway, um, I just did like got the groceries yesterday, got back, started some cleaning. And then Lyle's been doing this amazing project in the bathroom. So I can't wait to show what has happened because it's so cool. And we're currently in the middle of changing everything up in the bathroom or redecorating it. Didn't get it before with the mirrors that were up, but now we've got different mirrors. It's amazing. Our family's coming soon, so I've got to kind of hurry up um, and get ready so I can start cleaning more. <laughs> you know how it goes. I just need to like tidy up the kitchen and kind of think about like getting the food pre-prepared. And then I woke up this morning and I had completely bled all over our brand new sheets. I just went and got new bedding. Well, we had gotten new sheets recently 
their like expensive white crispy Egyptian thread count blah 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 like we got the highest one we can get at Target they're not like too bougie but like for us that we usually just get regular pretty mid-grade sheets and we got the good ones and we're all excited and we're like these are the nice sheets when we get tattooed we can't use these sheets we have to change the sheets there's just all these rules with the new sheets and then the first the second night or th no it's been like maybe a week that we had them my husband had hurt himself at work on his arm and he forgot that it had been scratched open and so he bled on them and I was actually glad that he did it before I did because I knew it was coming and it did I woke up this morning and I had bled all over myself and my new sheets but luckily it didn't get on the new bed cover because I would have cried that would have been awful because that was like kind of what I wanted to do is like I had to pay a bunch of bills with all of this like income I've made over the weekend and then on top of that I just wanted to get myself something nice one thing you know one nice thing with my hard-earned cash everything's doomed we can't have nice things basically is what it is I'm sweating why am I so it's because I'm cramping I'm cramping so bad but tonight is the Game of Thrones finale you guys I'm so excited and so sad at the same time I don't want it to end I look forward to it every Sunday I have a bowl of popcorn I usually will have some sort of dessert and I get so excited about it and it's the last episode but I'm gonna have filet mignon I'm doing it up I'm making myself the fanciest bougiest dinner that I can because I deserve it and we're gonna watch Game of Thrones that's the plan but I'm gonna go tidy up I have towels to throw into the wash sheets to throw into the wash and um, get ready for our family to come say hey and hang out with us and I'll get to catch up it's Marcy you guys Marcy who gave me the statue it's Marcy. Marcy and Larry, that's um, my husband's dad. So, yay. We just saw them recently, but it's always nice to catch up with them when they're in town. So that's what we're gonna go do. And yeah, I just threw on a really cozy, kind of soft, lightweight dress and pulled my hair up because it's a mess. I'm a mess. I don't have time for nothing. <laughs> oh, and I signed back up for Pilates this week too. I'm so glad. Okay, let's go clean. And I'm gonna show you what Lyle's been doing and we're gonna close this video out. This is our old, oh my God, these are our old bathroom lights. They're covered in sawdust from all the work. But look at what we got. Oh my God, isn't that magical? And we're still fixing this, but this is a night light. So when everything is off, this automatically turns on at night. And then these are the two overhead cam lights. We now have a light over the shower, which we never had before. So we would like always be in the dark. Now we have a shower one and it can go up. They change color so you can change them from different colors. This is where you turn this on when you take a shower and it defogs the mirror. Isn't that so cool? I love it. And then you hold this down and it dims the mirrors up and down. So I was saying that I wanted a setup like they had at the Hyatt because when I did my skincare at the Hyatt it made my face look so healthy and glow you could really see the skincare glowing on my face and I was like this is this is how you skincare like you need the right lighting never even thought about that I like this one I think but I can't tell Lyle says that this is the Hyatt tone that this was the color that they had theirs so yeah I did my skincare last night and I was like rubbing it into my face and just really enjoying putting it on oh which actually I was gonna say it all came and I'm just hiding it down here right now because everything still needs like wiped down there's still a lot of plaster but the holy grail face oil came it's up here this is already open it's this but it's empty that one's empty this is the new one I also got the moisturizer it's official that pharmacy is my chosen skincare brand if anybody's wondering this is the honey halo ultra hydrating ceramide moisturizer the cool thing about this is that the little spoon is magnetic isn't that cool so you can use that yeah what's up I'm doing like all the white cotton oh if you need to yeah go for it and then the next one is the Green Clean Makeup Melt Away Balm, and this stuff is great. I've used it multiple times, so. I think they have sample sizes that you can try on the pharmacy website. So I'll link all of that in the description for you. Husband's doing some cleaning. <laughs> I'm 
swear I'm going to stop here in a minute and help. He's like, yeah, 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 yeah. Anyway, come help. I'm going to put all of this away because this is all my skincare and stuff. But yeah, I just wanted to show the lights because they're so cool and let's get them on the same color because we'll probably end up leaving them on and then at some point we're going to take this down we're going to change the background into a really cool wallpaper that we've had we've we bought it ahead of time and it's been sitting here we're going to make um eventually we're going to rip these out and do two single pedestal style sinks and then redo the flooring we want to rip the bathtub out and do a really nice claw foot and then turn that closet into a stand-up shower and get a new toilet and all of that. And this is all gonna be re repainted and retiled. See how the lighting is on my face in the bathroom now. Oh my gosh, I never even considered I could come in here and like do skincare with you guys now and like not hate the lighting because I've always hated the lighting because it was just overhead and would make me have the biggest bags under my eyes. Now I can do, I can do bathroom videos now. Oh, yeah, look at that. Oh my gosh. It's exciting. Okay, well, I've got cleaning to do and uh, charcuterie prep to do because, of course, I'm going to have snacks and things for everybody and uh, I've got to get a move on, start drinking my coffee. Oh, but one more thing, and I swear I'm done. When I went to get new bedding yesterday, I also got a new candle, open range, and it has a horseshoe on the top. So you know I loved that. That candle is new. Everything's all tidied up in here. The puppy is wanting desperately for somebody to play with her, but nobody cares. <laughs> She's one. Nobody wants to play with her. This is what I got yesterday. So when we also, again, when we went and stayed at the Hyatt, I wanted new sheets that felt like the luxurious sheets that they had and how they had just a comforter down that was light and then just something to cover it. So instead of doing the whole duvet that you have to stuff inside like an envelope <laughs> and deal with all that crap, you can just have something laying across the bed that is nice and easy to clean, easy to get off and on, and not too expensive so you can just replace it when you're over it. This is the new bed cover. Isn't it so nice? It's like this kind of brown tan color with this white stitching going through it and then I got a new throw for the dogs and they're going to the groomer so they'll come back clean and then that'll be a nice warm spot for them because they get pretty cold when they go to the groomer they're like bald so that'll be nice and then I we already had these pillows but I do want to get something even though I really like these I was thinking some big plush decorative pillows to go on the bed and then we've got new lighting in here as well these lights go up in the corners and then we have one over the dog painting now we can turn up and now everything's dimmer on dimmers. We are, we are the dimmer people. <laughs> and then these patches are gonna be fixed where there was a light previously. And all the paint will be fixed and that's above there. You guys like the new bedding? Anyway, that's the new updates.